In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Truth will triumph. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 2. There is to be no undermining of the fundamental truths that the Lord has submitted by many miraculous evidences. A voice is to be heard in clear affirmation of the truth, in contradiction to the skepticism and fallacies that have been coming in from the enemy of truth. Reformations will take place, and the working out of the principles of divine truth will reveal growth in grace, for the divine agencies are efficient to enlighten and sanctify the human understanding. The truth as it is in Jesus, as it was proclaimed by him when he was enshrouded by the billowy cloud, is verity and truth in this our day, and will just as surely renovate the mind of the receiver as it has renovated minds in the past. Christ has declared, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Luke 16 verse 31 As a people, we must prepare the way of the Lord under the overruling guidance of the Holy Spirit for the spread of the gospel in its purity. The stream of living water is to deepen and widen in its course. In all fields, nigh and afar off, men will be called from the plow and from the more common commercial business vocations that largely occupy the mind, and will become educated in connection with men who have had experience, men who understand the truth. Through most wonderful workings of God, mountains of difficulty will be removed and cast into the sea. Those who preach the truth will strive to demonstrate the truth by a well-ordered life and godly conversation. And as they do this, they will become powerful in advocating the truth and in giving it the pure application that God has given it. The call is to go forth. Son, go labor today in my vineyard. As this call is obeyed, the message that means so much to the dwellers on earth will be heard and understood. Men will know what is truth. Onward and still onward will the work advance, and marked events of providence will be seen and recognized in judgments and in blessings. The truth will bear away the victory.